Hey guys, how's it going? Thank you for joining me on this little uh, quick start tutorial I'm going to do on Ngrok. At least that's how I've been pronouncing it. I'm not sure if uh, I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm not, please leave a comment on how you might pronounce it. But um, for right now, I'm calling it Ngrok. Um, so yeah, you've you've read this far into my blog. Uh, you kind of see what Ngrok is doing and, and maybe understand or don't understand what, what's going on with it. But here I'll show you um, by bringing up my own personal project and hosting it um, temporarily on one on a server. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my project and I'll just start it. I'm using concurrently. So by running this npm run dev command down here, um, I'm starting my local host 3000 and also my back end as well. Um, so you can see all these things getting going here. Um, and yeah, th this will bring it up. Obviously, this isn't live right now, but this brings up um, my development server, and you can kind of, I guess, play around with this as you would. Um, but here is where Ngrok comes in. So, uh, and this is this is real quick where I ran into a little error. What I was kind of talking about, or not an error, just like something that I wasn't expecting with the Ngrok directions. Um, they were telling you to type in um, dot slash, and maybe I'll clear this up for you guys. Um, they were telling you to type in this command right here, um, dot slash ngrok, uh, HTTP, and then the, uh, the port name or the port number. Um, but this, every time I would run this, um, and I'll show you guys right here, going to this link that it gives you and then clicking down here, I would get invalid host header. Um, so I did a little Googling on, on what that was and gave me um, this, and I'm not sure if this is like a bad thing to do or anything, but give me a dash uh, host header, uh, dash host dash header equals localhost 3000 here. And if you run this command um, and then do the same thing, take this link it gives you, in here and you go to your site my site is now up and hosted um, and you can interact with it and I could you know take this link and send it to somebody and they could interact with the site as well so obviously there's a bunch of different advantages to this um, you're not fully deploying it and stuff and I kind of talk about it in my blog but one thing that I didn't really go over is like the special features that I thought um, that it had and once you start the development server you'll see something like this come up um, and it kind of gives you all of your requests so you can kind of check into them and see um, I guess like different things that are going on so if I was to like log in to my site um, and get the get like my dashboard up and everything um, it would show me like the post requests that I made it would give me all of my stuff here um, maybe that's not that great that my password showing and whatnot but it's okay for now um, and then you can also like replay a request which I think is really cool so this is one of the other special features um, and you can just I guess you could use that to I guess run multiple requests see how things are working multiple times um, and certain things like that. So I think those are two really cool special features um, with Ngrok and yeah, hopefully this was helpful. I think like the main part of this was just to show you guys that um, this command here was the one that was working for me. You'd be able to find it on like a stack overflow answer or anything, but yeah, good luck. Happy coding.